Yeah, it is pretty inconsiderate to give someone a boner while they're peeing. What's the worst thing to say to the person next to you in a urinal? Phone camera sound. Reminds me of how phones in Japan are mandated by law to always keep shutter sound on even when the phone is in silent mode. Edit, turns out there is no legal provision, but the phone manufacturers comply with requests made by carriers. The companies are protecting themselves against legal repercussions from anyone who gets harassed or sees photos of themselves online or elsewhere, taken without their permission. Why is it taking me so long to come? Dennis, what are you doing here? Unless this is like a grinder situation. When will the goat be slaughtered? My friend traded sexual favors for some information. Nice watch. I wasn't wearing a watch. Nice, watch this. Proceeds to snipe P to the urinal. Don't you hate it when people snipe the urinal from the cubicle? Takes a peek over the barrier. Oh. Yours too. I thought I was the only one. I would never stop wondering what they meant. Well, they're actually penile papules. Basically inactive hair follicles. Edit, the spots I was referring to are called four dice spots. But I want to leave both names in case anyone is concerned about either. Also thanks for my first gold. It had to have been a comment about genital concerns. I have seen your dick somewhere. Aren't you my daughter's boyfriend? No. Do you want to be? Nervously. Oh god, that's a lot of blood. I actually experienced someone saying pretty much this to me at a free party. Wasted guy is standing over the urinal looking worried, he turns to me and asks does this look okay? I turn and see blood all over the urinal, no mate that is not okay, go to the hospital, other bloke in the loose, haha ha, been wanking too hard. He stayed the rest of the night partying before getting help. You should get that looked at. It's not normal. JD, look, janitor, I'm gonna be straight with you. I saw your penis and I noticed a possible melanoma that you should really have checked out. Janitor, when did you see my penis? JD, last night when you were showering. Janitor, where were you? JD, oh, I was outside in the bushes. Janitor, dumbfounded. JD, look, it was just a coincidence, man. If you had looked out of the window you would have seen my penis, you know. Janitor, what? Why? JD, because I had it out while I was looking at yours. Hey, can you hold this for a second? Are your hands clean? Good, I need you to hold this for me. Wow, that water's cold. Nice watch. When you're done quietly say goodbye, pat them on the back, and walk away. Oh wow, I can't see anything that'd confuse and concern me more than this. It's got everything, physical contact, the uncomfortableness of saying goodbye despite not haven't spoken and just how calm the other person would probably be. All it needs is that pat to be a short rub on the shoulder or caress along the cheekbone. Edit, imagine it being Chris Evans doing it and he never breaks eye contact. I had a friend who had an experience like that in a Walmart bathroom. A guy apparently walked up behind my friend while he was at the urinal, whispered, how's your dad doing? Into his ear, and left like nothing happened. It would have been one thing if he knew the guy but he was a complete stranger. Oh, hey Jim. You know I saw daughters at the yoga studio this past weekend. Man, they grow so fast. How old are they now, 18? Are they 18? Jim. Are your daughters 18 yet? I cracked up so hard at that. Sounds like that guy at the gym who would just come up to you during a plank and say, are you a school student? <laughs> Buddy of mine midway through a bottle of antibiotics that turned his piss deep orange went to the bathroom at a baseball game. Restroom had one of those long angled troughs and he got on the very end. Everyone goes quiet when a wave of deep orange urine runs across everyone's streams and he now has an entire trough line of heads looking at him. The guy next to him says, your girlfriend is a pumpkin dude. Sue, there is a drug you get that helps clear up your urethra, it turns your pee blue. And leaves blue stains on the urinal for the person next in line. One time at a college football game, my buddy and I went to piss during half time. It was so crowded we had to stand in line and it felt damn near shoulder to shoulder at the urinals. 
Anyways, as I got to the urinal I glanced to my right and saw a National Guard there for security in full outfit with a rifle hanging off his shoulder. Without hesitation, I shouted, wow guys this dude has a huge gun, and the entire bathroom bursted into laughter. Meaty slap sound. Whoa. Nice cock. Thick, but not too flaccid. Perfect length. A nice 80 degree angle. Could trim the hairs, but we'll work on it. Yep. If say that's a pretty good cock. I rate it. 8.5 out of 10. Good job, kiddo. Just scream. As loud and sudden as you can. Bonus points if you stop and act like nothing happened. Combine this with the other comments like. Why is my pee red? Nice watch. This reminds me of a time I was in the bogs at a Weatherspoons. I won't drink in one but I make a point of pissing in them whenever I can. I was washing my hands when these two old gimmers came in, clearly a few pints in. They stand swaying at the urinals and one of them goes, remember Terry, no farting. His mate shouts back, that was 25 years ago you cunt. Beautiful. Nothing. Just slap one hand on the wall, and then while you have their attention slap the other hand on the wall and hold them there. Edit, had to be brief. Hands on wall, struggling to type. Then stare deep into other guy's eyes and moan an orgasm. I need to take a dump, should I just turn around? Gas station workers reading this likely just had Vietnam like flashbacks. When I worked at one as a teenager there was a guy who took a stealthy juice in the urinal and my co-worker and I had to rock, paper, scissors to determine who had to clean it. I won and the other guy just put a slippery when wet sign in front of the urinal and clocked out. I was using the restroom that was mainly used by people in a different department, and a co-worker from that department walked in right after me. Right after he walks up to the urinal he says, wrong neighborhood, in a joking manner. Him and I banter fairly regularly, he's definitely one of my workplace friends. My uniform is mainly red, and his uniform is mainly blue. I'm white, and he's black. We are standing at the urinals, only two in this restroom, no divider, and in my head, a joke pops into my head. White guy and black guy wearing opposite gang colors, standing next to each other, and there is no issue. The divisive nature of the media and all that stuff doesn't exist. There is peace. All this took place in my mind over the course of about two seconds, and I was gonna point it out to him, so I say. Check this out, he says, nope, immediately. Now, right away, I see the error of my ways and I start busting up laughing. I have to quickly explain what I meant, and he starts cracking up too. Legit one of the funniest things I've ever been a part of. This was a reminder of why we don't talk in the men's room. Look them dead in the eyes and say. Waluigi is a man only seen in mirror images, lost in the hall of mirrors he is a reflection of a reflection. You start with Mario, the wholesome all-Italian plumbing superman, you reflect him to create Luigi, the same thing but slightly less. You invert Mario to create Wario, Mario turns septic and libertarian. Then you reflect the inversion in the reflection, you created a being who can only exist in reference to others. Waluigi is the true nowhere man, without the other characters he reflects, inverts and parodies he has no reason to exist. Waluigi's identity only comes from what and who he isn't, without a wider frame of reference he is nothing. He is not his own man. In a world where our identities are shaped by our warped relationships to brands, celebrities and commerce we are all Waluigi. Yeah, it is pretty inconsiderate to give someone a boner while they're peeing. Why is it taking me so long to come? When I'm tapping my potential. When I'm scrubbing up to rub. When I'm sapping the essential. From the purple-headed club. When I'm cooking up a lonesome. When I take the solo stand. When I'm playing on my own some. And the tossing time's at hand. When I spring the knuckle shuffle. When I start the old one too. When I make the flagpole ruffle. And I milk the morning dew. When I burn the pearly candle. When I flog the throbbing log. When I pump the salty handle. Squeeze the smokestack of its smog. When I spank the chunky monkey. When I give the snake a stroke. When I turn the skin flute funky. And I whip the beaten yoke. When I do it. Get down to it. Get on through it. Getting me.
When I caught the cock and woo it. Then I do it where I pee. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.